Hey everyone, welcome to Unique Day 7. Please have your binders open and ready to day number 7 from your Unique Binder. We're going to be working on this video together. Some important things I need you to know. First, is that I only have a 15 minute window for me to film this. The program I'm using, see how high tech I am, I'm in the corner, and then you can see the whole rest of what I'm teaching. Um, it only allows me 15 minutes. So you're going to need to pause my video sometimes so that you can count everything on the screen and do it correctly. So our lesson today is called What's in Your Wallet? We're gonna be working with money, which will be really, really fun. Let's get started. You should have your binder open to this page where it has a picture of a reusable water bottle and it has the cost for $9. So here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna do this first one together. What you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna be handwriting, not using the cutout pieces, okay? That's to help you save time since we don't have a ton of time to go over everything. I want you to write the amounts correctly using the dollar sign and decimal point. So your first step is gonna to be to determine how much money you have in your wallet. And lucky for you, Ms. Kuna has given you money all over here on the screen. That's your pretend wallet. So you're gonna count how much money you have. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have $7. We're going to write that up in the box that asks us for how much money we have in our wallet. Next, I'm gonna read you this. A reusable water bottle costs $9. So, you're going to need to, again, write how much money you have. Don't get confused. We have $7. That goes in this box. I need, hmm, well our reusable water bottle costs $9. So I'm gonna circle that because that's how much money I need is $9. So do I have enough money? Well, let's make this look a little bit better. I have seven, but I need nine. Which is bigger, seven or nine? Nine is bigger, and since I'm the one with the smaller number, no, I don't have enough money. Bummer. All right, let's move on to our next page. Our next page, asks us how much money is in our wallet. I'm gonna move myself down a little. Count the money on the screen. How much do you have? Pause me if you need to. You're gonna write that amount in the box. Plastic storage containers cost $6. Well, how much money do you have? Whatever you wrote here is what you're gonna write in this box down over here. The next thing is we're figuring out how much money we need. Plastic storage containers cost $6. Circle the dollar amount in that sentence. I'll help you out on that one. You're gonna write that in our box for I need. Compare your money. If I have is bigger than what you need, then yes, you have enough. If it's smaller, then no, you don't have enough. That's for you to decide and show me when you upload the pictures of your work. Remember to pause me if you need to go slower. All right, next up we have something a little different. We have larger bills. You're gonna see a $5 bill and a $10 bill. We've gone over this a few times, but what I'd like to do is go over how we count mixed bills. So you're gonna see a red circle on your $5 bill. Just like when you're counting coins, red circles means that you're gonna count by fives. So let's count all our red circles. Five, 10, 15. All right, we counted by fives, we have 15. But when I look at my dollar bills I have left, 
I have a red line under them. That always means count by one. So we're gonna start where we left off, which was 15, and then we're gonna count by ones. So I have five, 10, 15, now count by ones, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we are going to put $19 in how much money we have in our wallet and how much money we have. A pair of work pants costs $18. So how much money do you need? Let's circle it. Dara, these are cheaper than the ones that we got for you when we were at the outlets. So you need $18. Do you have enough money? Is I have 19 bigger than I need 18? If your answer is yes, circle yes. If it's no, circle no. All right, friends, I want you to count this money by yourself. So we have a $10 bill and we have a $1 bill. Remember, circles mean count by fives. The line means count by ones. Figure out how much money you have and put it in your top box. Also put that amount here for I have. I'll read you what we're shopping for. An alarm clock costs $12. So how much do you need? Fill it out. Compare your prices and decide if you have enough money. Pause me if you need to. Ooh, something I love to do, counting coins. So how much money is in my wallet? This is gonna be a little different. We're gonna set up our wallet, whoops. We're gonna set up our wallet amount by putting our dollar sign, and then we're gonna put a zero because we're not gonna have more, we're not gonna have any money here. We don't have any bills. Next, we're gonna count the coins. I'm going to give you a hint. You're counting by fives if you have the silver coins. Remember how to dot them. Count your coins and put your amount here, okay? This should be two digits. And then it will also go in this box here. Whatever number you get. How much do you need? Breath mints cost 75 cents. Write it in the box and compare your numbers. Decide if you have enough money. Next up, and again, the coins are on my video. Next up, we have coins again. Again, remember that we're going to put our dollar sign and a zero with a decimal point and then get ready to write our change in. You're gonna do that for I have as well. A pen costs 68 cents. So how much money do you need? Circle it in our sentence and copy it down here. Do you have enough money? Only you can decide that. We'll see what you put. All right. Please remember that you can use our dollar up method the way we use our dollar up method is if we have an amount of money, let's say we had $4 and 20 cents. We want to count out loud in this way. Okay, I have $4, so I'm going to count out $4 bills. One, two, three, four, and one for the cents. So I actually would need $5 to pay for something that's $4.20. Keep that in mind while you're doing these problems. Really important and great to know for when we go on our community trips. So count the money, make sure you fill out the sheet correctly, and then move on to if you have enough money or not. All right, this one's again a little different. You are counting dollars and coins. So don't worry, you've got this. What you have to do is set up your math problem. 
So first, let's count our dollars. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna write down my four and put my decimal point. Now, how much cents do I have? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46. So four dollars and 46 cents. So a travel toothbrush and toothpaste costs $5.99. Figure out the rest of your worksheet and see if you can get the right answer. Alrighty friends, your pages are gonna start to look a little different. The only thing different is that after you fill out all of the same parts, you count your money first, put it up here and in your I have spot, then you're gonna read your sentence for what you're buying. So this says a dozen bagels cost $12.93. Put that in the box and compare them. If your answer is no, I don't have enough money, you're gonna do a math problem using your phone as a calculator. You're going to put the amount from I need, so match your words, need. You're gonna write that amount in here. And then you're gonna write the amount you have in here. You're gonna subtract to get your answer for how much more money you would need. You're only gonna do this if your answer is no, you don't have enough money. Otherwise it won't work. All right, pause me if you need to to complete this page. Mike, this one's for you. A haircut costs $17.39. So first, count your money in your wallet. Circles, count by fives. Lines, count by ones. Figure out how much money you have. If you don't have enough money, match your words to do your math problem. All right. Again, count your money. Don't forget how to count by fives for the circles. Figure out your math problem. If you answer no, then you need to do the bonus. You've got this. Our last one, whoa, that's a lot of money, but I know you've got this and you can count it. We're working on taking a typing skills class, which costs $84.99. Make sure you count how much money you have on this page and then you're able to fill out the rest. Again, if your answer is no, you're gonna need to do the bonus. I hope you guys have enjoyed doing this video with me. As you can see, I've gotten a little fancy and done a really cool way of doing a video. I'm gonna do other videos the same way so that you can see some of our material and do it with me. I hope you had fun learning this way. I had a lot of fun t teaching you. I do really miss seeing you guys though, and I can't wait to be back in school. You're doing a great job and I want you to keep up the positivity. If you could, comment on Google Classroom if you like seeing my videos this way. That way I know if it's working well for you. Also, our last question asked about a typing class. Just so you know, on Google Docs, I put out a link to a free typing website. It's great practice to type with your fingers in the right spots, so you could check it out if you have some free time and you're bored. All right, friends, tune in to Wednesday. I can't wait to teach you on that day, too, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Bye.